someone somewhere in the world who paid someone to hunt a person. I, I, I guarantee you that's Listen, happened. no. This is what happened. They take these homeless people off the streets, put them in there, take them to one of these special hospitals. They take them from that hospital, may have them drugged up, take them on these large estates of property. That's hunt. Jesus. Run. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I've actually seen that in the movie, and I'm pretty sure Tyson's seen that movie too. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> no, this is not the next story. Oh my God, I was hoping that was the next story. Oh my goodness. You can talk about it if you want to. All I know is Tyson's crazy, which is a clear reason why you should not antagonize this man. This nigga is watching too many fucking movies, man. How, oh, how did you, he said he said that like he what was movie whisper. is that? There's yo, a ho- movie where that where that's hot where that where that yeah is yeah. The but case. yo, Tyson said that like he wasn't on camera. Is it, he said is it that Batman? he What's said that Batman? to Rogan. Like he was whispering it in Rogan's ear, like the entire world <laughs> wouldn't hear it. <laughs> like, now, mind oh, you, man. now, mind you, now, mind you, do I think that happens? Of course I do. I don't think Tyson's that crazy. I just wouldn't say it on a platform like Joe Rogan, especially if I'm Tyson. But does right. that happen? Of course it happens. This is like Squid Games in real life. I People- could, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that happening, especially since. A lot of places have, especially in third world countries, where if somebody's homeless and they disappear, nobody's ever gonna find out about it. I can definitely see that, see that happen. And there's some, there's some sick people. You know, they say, they say, you know, uh, once you give a person money, it only enhances whatever bad was in them already. Of course, it doesn't enhance the good that was in them. It enhances whatever was wrong and whatever was bad in them. It just makes it bigger. So if you, I was broke. And I was fucking around with people and bullying them. And then I win the lottery. <laughs> now I got money to fuck around and bully people. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to buy somebody. Well, I'm yeah, make you them can fight. Yeah, you can, now, you can now bully them in a more, more experimental way. In the past, I used to just have to be, I could only afford to punch you. But now that I right. got money, I can make you run through mazes. I can trick those exactly. mazes out with like barbed wires. I can be creative with what I'm doing. So 100%, again, I don't think Tyson is wrong in what he's saying of course i have no proof of this um who would have proof of that right you're not gonna have proof of that billionaires hunting homeless people for sport there's no video of that anywhere but you'd be crazy if you don't think that happens if a man can sexually assault a 15 year old boy in a markham mall bathroom there are some billionaires out there hunting homeless people is all i'm saying yeah, it's obvious that it's true, right? But I'm just saying, like, Mike is out here watching a lot of movies because the way he's talking about it, he's making it sound like it's happening down the street. Like, like it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's happening everywhere. He's making it sound like it's happening anywhere that you go, like New York, L.A., like those places. And in those places, I don't know. I, I just can't see that type of lifestyle happening and it being kept quiet. Unless, of course, we are talking about only the super duper uber duper rich guys. Like that is multi- what we're talking about. Multi billionaires where the where the group is is smaller, bro. That's the only way I could see that. But you you know you know how Batman has the Batcave and it's well hidden, right? Just Elon yeah. Elon Musk has the same thing, and when you go down there, he's got homeless people's heads on the walls as trophies. Like the group is very, very small. It's got a real password to get into it, a secret handshake, all that stuff. Like, right. I believe that it's a real thing. And I'm making a joke about it. But the, the whole thing about Tyson saying it, wrong messenger. Like, if you want to have that conversation, that conversation, again, I'm making a joke, but you can have an intelligent conversation about that exact same topic. And I don't want to insult Tyson's intelligence, but just, you know, based on, his public interviews that he's given and things he said, I don't know if he's able to have that conversation where when he says it, people aren't going to respond the same way we are. Like, that's some funny, crazy shit. No, yeah. if you sit two intelligent people down to have that conversation, you could be like, this really does happen. Oh, my God. And be scared as shit. Yeah. Walking down the street, see some homeless people, walk the next week, that homeless person isn't in that same spot. Oh, my God, they got him. You know what I mean? Like Tyson is just not the right person to be talking it's about. It's still that. it's oh, still hard for me to believe. I know. Even me sitting here, I'm it's just hard for me to believe, man. I don't know. Well, listen, uh, 
we're going to be podcasting again next week. And if he's not here, they got him. All right. <laughs> let's, just hope, let's just hope he makes it back. You know, <laughs> it's got to be some sort of financial incentive. I mean, you know, like, listen, anyways, I, I won't even go there. All right. Oh viewing public. God. What are your thoughts, man? Are they kidnapping homeless people? Are they yanking them up off the streets? Or is Mike Tyson just being Mike? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. Deuces.